In a season beset with off-field drama at Goodison Park, Sean Dyche's side needed three points more than ever to help their bid for survival and they got just that on Saturday, April 7. However, a win on the field does not mean the off-field problems have gone away and those in charge at Goodison Park are still waiting to see if the Premier League will approve the 777 partners' takeover. Reports suggest that should the 777 takeover fail, two Toffees superfans are preparing to take full control of proceedings at Goodison Park in a bid to save the club's future. Andy Bell and George Downing, successful businessmen in the world of finance and property, are willing to take ownership of the club in its entirety, despite not being interested in owning or financing the Toffees. While the 777 or so have remained confident throughout the process that they will be approved by the Premier League, there must be a reason why the governing body has taken so long to reach a decision. The way in which the American investment company has managed its clubs around the world has been criticized, with several teams in financial difficulties and some even being hit with transfer bans, which could put a seed of doubt in the league's mind. Although Farhad Moshiri has dealt exclusively with 777, news of Bell and Downing's willingness to take over the Merseyside ownership could be enough to show the Toffees owner that he would be better off looking elsewhere. As superfans of the club, the pair would have Everton's best interests at heart, something that cannot be said about 777 partners and Josh Wander. They would probably lead the Toffees into a new, brighter era. If Moshiri truly cares about Everton in any way, he should call off talks with the American investment firm and start talks with Bell and Downing to see if some sort of takeover can be agreed. For the Toffees' long-term financial and footballing future, a takeover sooner rather than later would be best for all parties. Leave a like and share with your friends.